Hi y'all, it's me. As part of the Wild Bunch design team on behalf of Wild Orchid Crafts, I'm here to share with you my next project. For this project, my concept was uh, thinking about Thanksgiving, and when I have family over, I like to uh, decorate the table, and I try to incorporate a lot of handmade items um, on the table, and also uh, give gifts to each person for each holiday. It's just a tradition of something I've been doing over the years. Uh, so that's kind of where the idea came from. The item I made is not my idea, however, it's from Yolanda, who's so crafty here on YouTube. She showed a tutorial on how to make these, and if you stick around to the end, I'll just show you a brief tutorial on how I did it, um, so that you can um, make them yourself if you choose to do so. And so for the first, I have three different sets, so you might want to um, just look at each different set to see the variety, and the reason they're different is because I assign each person a pattern and then that person sticks with their pattern for the evening and you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. So the first one I'm going to show you, these are the items that were used. These are the white leaves, the white blooms, the foundation blooms. I love these things. You can color them up as much as you need to or not. I used the white heather stems. I used the self-adhesive rhinestones and then I used the hip roses and this code is GST002. So I'm going to show you what I did with that. And this is what I came up with. So um, as I said, I like to give gifts. So this is what I will be giving to each person at the table. They will each get a uh, similar like this with a gift inside of it. Usually some candy and nuts, depends on what holiday it is or whatever. Um, I also like to use name place cards. So this kind of took the purpose of both of those. As you can see here, I covered a tongue depressor. It's a simple tongue depressor. And I um, used the same paper and then I added a little chalkboard along with the beautiful wild orchid flowers there as a touch just to write their name there. So this will serve as a place, uh, you know, where name place card and as well as the gift. And then um, down here you can see I've used just tips of glimmer mist on the edges of the leaves and the heather. And I also colored the hip rose right there. And basically I, I sprayed these as well and I kind of pinched it around the hip rose and just glued it in place so it gave that um, dimension. So you can build up your own flowers using the foundation white blooms and other flowers at Wild Orchid Crafts and make your own thing. So that's the first part of the first project. I also um, decided to make napkin rings. So as you can see I've utilized the same items to do the napkin ring and this is burlap paper from um, Die Cuts with a View. And so there's their little napkin ring to go with it. And also we have usually a lot of family and you know we drink out of glassware and when you have that many people at your house all the time for a holiday you just constantly washing dishes or you need a lot of dishes so in order to identify the glass um, I make something that matches exactly as the rest of the set and whether I'm doing this or another item and um, I included a cozy for the bottom of the wine glass and that way a water glass goblet whatever and you can the person can say hey I'm apples that's mine and so it's a way to identify your cup at a party so it's kind of nice so that was set number one and then set number two I used um, let me grab those really quickly I used the Cosmo daisies right here and again the aqua rhinestones and the vintage seam binding right there and this is what that one looks like. Now they're all, excuse me, they're all pretty much the same style. They just have different papers and finishes on them. So here I used a Martha Stewart doily. I sprayed it and added the pretty aqua wine stones and then the Cosmo daisies along the top. Oh, the leaves are falling from outside. <laughs> the leaves are falling. It's fall. <laughs> so, um, and then I used it up here as well. And the same concept, I added the little bling there and um, so that. And then this would be the napkin ring which matches the collection that's down there as well. And it was funny because this is a leaf pattern and a leaf fell on me. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> and there's the cozy. You just basically cut a circle and then cut a slit and another circle so it'll slide right onto your project. And then the next one I did, I'll show you the items I used for this one. 
and I've used the Pearl Sprays, and this is MKX624, right there. I use these beautiful two-tone Aqua Wild Roses. I love these things. Beautiful. And I've used the Flatback Pearl and Ivory, and I've also used the Mixed Colored Tea Roses. And this is what that set looks like. So here's the tr the treat gift bag and the name card holder right here. Again, you could see I've lined the pearls up top there, down here, the bottom. I've bent over the sprays to make a loop so the sprays were popping out from here behind the beautiful flowers. And um, I just took the yellow because it was a bit too bright and I sprayed it with some glimmer mist that was a uh, brown tone to tone down the color of the flower a little bit. That's what's so great about flowers. You know, even if you don't have exactly the color you need, you can spray them and paint them. And there you can see I have felt at the bottom of that one as well. So yeah, you can alter them in so many ways, which is awesome. And here's the napkin ring for that one. Real pretty. And then here's the cup cozy. So there you go. Those are the three items. Now, I just want to show you briefly how to make that little treat thing because um, I have a tutorial on my website if you go to my channel and I just posted it a few videos back and it shows how to make this envelope if you don't have these kind of envelopes. These came from Michael's, their recollection, and they're in a box of corrugated cards and that's what Yolanda showed us to use to make these little, she calls them kind of like french fry boxes. So. The only thing you're going to need to do with this is lay it down on your scoreboard and you're going to score it at one inch. You want to make sure you get that really nice and creased at one inch. If it doesn't go through, turn it over and rescore it on the other side at one inch as well. Just make sure you get those lines really nice and Drawn. And now that's basically all you have to do. I'm going to go ahead and fold that on the crease because I want to make sure that I have a good fold there. And then you're basically going to stick your hand down in there and you're going to start to flatten the bottom like this and it'll fold right where that crease line is. You see there? And you get like this cat ear effect. And then those ends are just going to get adhered down. Flatten them out, of course. Take your time with it like that. So that's how you do the bottom and then that's why I covered it with felt because I didn't want to see those two little ends there. And then for this part, you're basically just going to take the flap of the envelope and push it down into the container and there you go. That's how easy it is. So I hope you enjoyed this project. I hope that you have a great Thanksgiving and that you um, incorporate some of these ideas into your very own Thanksgiving table because I think they're quite lovely and um, thank you so much for watching and be sure to like subscribe and comment and shop at Wild Orchid Craft. All the links you need will be down below for you. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Do what makes you happy.